All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be reading Room on the Broom. This is by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Here we go. Room on the Broom. Here we are. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and a long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bound a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eager, eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly back onto her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged its tail, and the storm, the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then, out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then she said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. As the bird fluttered on, the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the river they flew. The birds shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. And the witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I am a frog and as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the, the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and, uh-oh, what's going to happen? The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat, the dog, and the frog. Down they went tumbling into the bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into the cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and witch with french fries taste delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around but no one could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eye and said, just this once, I'll have witches without fries. Oh. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a 
terrible beast. It was dark, it was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furry. It had four frightful heads, and it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped it and it squished and it strode from the ditch and it said to the giant, buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon flew back and he, the dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be inside dragons inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and she said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone and the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well and while she was stirring she muttered a spell. Giddy ziggity zaggity zoom. Then out rose. Let's see. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pond for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on and the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. There they go. The question is, who would you let ride on your broomstick? If you had three or four seats, let's see how many seats she had. All right, if it was you, who are the other two people you would have on your broomstick? Who would be in the pond and who would be up in the nest? Hmm, something to think about. You guys have a wonderful day. Keep being awesome.